bring in the chief, Scotty Padgett. Scott, what's the word on that? We are going to see some effects here in North Texas in the form of our temperatures coming down and a chance of some rain. Looking at where Cristobal is right now, you can see on the satellite and radar out over the open water, feeding off of those warm Gulf waters. Right now, if you want to plot this for some reason, if you like to do the latitude and longitude, you can see it's 22.7 degrees north and 90.1 degrees west. The center of circulation is a it has winds about 45 miles per hour and it's moving to the north at 14. So on that track will continue to make its way off to the north approach the Louisiana coastline probably Sunday early afternoon moving on shore right now if it takes the perfect center track just west of New Orleans and then continue to make its way to the northwest and winds dying down to 40 miles per hour by Monday morning then 30 by a Monday evening, a tropical depression then lifting its way through parts of Illinois and then pretty much raining itself out over northern Illinois. So we're talking about a lot of rain as well, but there are tropical storm warnings and watches in effect. The yellow area, tropical storm watch, and you can see tropical storm warnings in effect pretty much southeast Louisiana all the way through southern Mississippi, Alabama, and even including parts of Florida in the panhandle there. So the rainfall potential on the east side, the dirty side of the storm, really going to be piling up 7 to 10 inches of rain, maybe near New Orleans and definitely in southern Mississippi, stretching in Mobile, Alabama, and then that will lift its way to the north. But we might see a little bit of rain here, maybe a half of an inch to an inch in some spots of north Texas, our far east counties. More on that coming up. Right now we're sitting at 86 degrees, clear skies. It's still very warm with uh, the dew point in the low 70s. Still feels like 91 degrees after it felt like 101 to 102 today. Right now still feels like 86 in Decatur to 94 at Love Field. So going into tonight, we're down to the mid 70s by tomorrow morning and then hour by hour I'm forecasting 97. But it's going to feel like 102 tomorrow afternoon. Another day that you definitely need to make sure that you take some breaks in the shade. Definitely hydrate, have the sunscreen on if you're going to be outside. And if you're going to be outside, here's the pollen that we're dealing with. Fungus and grass, main allergens in the medium to almost low medium category through the weekend and then going back up by next Tuesday. So let's talk about uh, crystal ball again. Here's the future sky forecast. You're able to see as we go into Sunday into Monday, there's some of the rain just brushing us. The cloud cover will increase and then it will lift its way off to the northeast. So I don't expect a large amount of rain, mainly off to the east. I do expect to see the better chance of rain. But then as it exits, look at this. Some forecast models trying to say 105 here in Dallas by the time we go into Tuesday afternoon. I split the difference, um, going 92 Monday, then back up to 101 by Tuesday, and then a cool front moves through, cools us back down to the mid-90s by Thursday and Friday.